Morning. Hey Reese. Hi Jeff. RM Transit in London. Mini high five. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Once again. Your last different Elizabeth Line Purple Cross Train. Perp. Exactly. Uh, Reese is back in town. His channel, RM Transit. Last week on Twitter, I said, Reese is coming to London. What things should we do? Twitter responded. As it always does. And then we decided to ignore all of the suggestions. <laughs> Which is... We came up with our own idea, which is... We did. Which is to ride sort of like the secret lesser used train line in London that we don't think many people have been on. No, not nearly enough people have been on this line. Which is which line? It's the Northern City Line, nowadays part of the Great Northern Network of Trains, and it's a section of underground railway that's not part of the Tube, between Moorgate up to Finsbury Park. It opened in 1904, and there was a plan to extend it 250 metres further south to a new terminus at Lothbury, but that never happened. In the 1930s, up until 1975, it was operated by and became part of the London Underground, which is why it appears on some old Northern Line carriage diagrams. But today, the whole line just feels like an oddly underused and lesser-known railway in London, which is why Reese and I thought it would be an excellent line to explore. Well, but I'm going to start, I'll say the Jeff Motor Cap phrase straight away, uh, have you seen, above the entrance of Moorgate Station over there, is, can you see the little symbol above? There's two little tube trains, which is the logo of the City and South London Railway, who first dug the railway through here. That is their thing. Anyway, right, first thing pointed out. Don't worry, I've done a cutaway. We're going to go on, buy some trains, get your thoughts. Sounds good. Reese and Jeff. Yay! We could take the secret stairwell that's down that passageway. Go for it. Yeah, you've not done that, have you? I haven't. Yeah. These ones? Yep, go for it. And there's an air conditioner for some reason. And someone's cold. Are you a fan of this rolling stock race? No, I'm not. Oh, no. Why is that? Uh, too many seats. Uh, I would like if they were a bit more like the Elizabeth line. I think it would be more appropriate. Too many seats? But I, that's that's one of the reasons why I love tennising trains. Like, I've been at, say, like, um, I've been at Brighton Station and there's been an event or a football match mm -hmm. on and you see like, you know, hundreds of people on the platform and then a 12 car Thames link rolls in and it just, and you think, what? And then it, it just soaks them up, you know, and it just, these are... I think it's a question of who is Thames link for, right? Is it for the people who are in rather central areas of London or is it for people in Brighton? Also, we're going to see some old signage today. Signage? And there's a sign there. Where it's saying, you know, to Hammersmith and City Line, so like, and it's in non, non Johnston font. Stop number one, Reese. Old Street. Old Street. Not New Street. Old Street. <laughs> Old Street. Should we get off? If we're going to jump off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it overhead line? Oh, it's third rail here, right? This is what gets me about Old Street. We've arrived, but instead of going up from the platforms, the steps go down. So it's like to leave, you have to go even further down, then along, and then up. This is just, it's echoey and spooky, and it just feels like any other part of London. It's sort of snakes in and out. Yeah, it's really quite random. It's not just like a straight shot. You've got to go back and forth. It's also really echoey. Spooky. It's uh, good. The okay, so at this point it gets a bit less spooky because it's sort of underground. It feels more like what you'd expect. Ooh, that's a cool wind. That's a <laughs> much appreciated. Is there a... So the Northern Line platforms are off this right way. Down there, yeah. And over that way. I said 10 minutes, but the... Uh, Four the trains per hour, Jeff. The departure board would seem to suggest every 15 minutes. Mm. I think it might be every 10 in the peak. More time to appreciate the station. I really? What are you appreciating? The blank barren wall or what? Uh, old timey engineering. Yeah. And also, oh, train in the other direction? cross-platform interchange, this is like one of the most underappreciated engineering achievements ever. Go for it. Ever. Let's hear about it. So... Reese, we're getting out. Here. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I actually just love the whole Victoria line. The fact that they retrofitted in the cross-platform transfers when there were no computers or anything and they just drew it up and they had, they swapped the platforms around at various stations. It's just, we wouldn't do stuff like that today, but it is so impressive. Again, non-Johnston font, which drives me mad. It's very strange, it's like we're in New York. <laughs> points down to the Victoria line. Can I tell you the funny story, which might be urban legend, but I want to be true. Yes. The story goes, is that sometimes people arrive from Europe on the Eurostar, King's Cross, St. Pancras. As they, it then, were. they then jump onto the Victoria line at King's Cross, which is right-hand running. Mm -hmm. And instead of heading south into zone one, into the center of town, they end up inadvertently coming north because the Victoria line is swapped to King's Cross. And that deposits them here at Harbin Islington, and they look up out the window and they go, oh, we've gone the wrong way. And they logically do what you would do. They then cross over, thinking that the train on the other side will take them back into town, and it doesn't. It just takes them even further north. Further north. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's true, but Possible. I, but I kind of want it to be true, because it's funny. <laughs> yeah. We should check out the two platforms while we're here. With the noise of a tube train off to the left, Reese, does that mean that the, the tunnel here, is it, is it, let's see if we can get, is it taller, is it higher to allow for, oh it's definitely taller, yeah, for, to allow for larger sized trains? Yeah, oh the loading gauge on this tunnel is significantly larger, like this is a mainline sized train, that's a tube, little, little guy, a little piddly tube train, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're cute, but, no this is serious trains, you know, not double-deckers, but serious mainline British trains. Ooh. Hang on, race, diesel loco, it's a 66, it's wasn't like it? Canada, everywhere. I wasn't expecting it, what? I already like this station more. I, any station that has regular freight trains passing by it, <laughs> it's just like intriguing. That gets your, what's, that gets your what's approval. Getting, what's getting transported, right? That, that is a single track freight line, curves off. You can see it here from Finsbury Park. That's actually going on to the, it curves onto the overground. To like North London? The North London lines that joins just at Canterbury. So that's curving south heading east through Canterbury Station. I've never been here before when a freight's going through. What I wanted to say is that many years ago, there's an abandoned disused station that's almost sort of part of the overground network, but not, called Primrose Hill across the way. Mm -hmm. And this is the closest thing to it. To, Prim to Primrose Hill, an above ground, narrow island platform, the canopy with the lattice works and like a set of central stairs coming down. This reminds me of the old. Yeah, I like that it has third rail and overhead lines. That also adds like, I think I have like a checklist of things that kind of, you know, add points of intrigue. Um, you've got kind of interesting graffiti and, and greenery and plant life and there's some apartments above us. It's just, there's a lot happening here. It's nice. And the sun is out. It's a beautiful day in London. Signal on the platform. I mean, this station is really uh, underrated, to be honest. Drayton Park in the sunshine. A little bit uh, below winter sun. Well, this is what I imagine Britain looks like. <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> basically. It's just... So this to you is just London right now? Yeah. Yeah. But it's this beautiful. is an odd, odd station. Unless you live at, or commute to Drayton Park, I'm going to... Is there any reason to ever come here? No, no, this is, this is all just for How like... How many times have you come here? Like, this is only probably like the third or fourth time I've ever come to Drayton Park. The first time wow. I came to Drayton Park was to be like, I've never got out of Drayton Park, so I'm just gonna go and do it. You know it. it's a minor station, when? It's like a church. What, because the, the ironwork? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And there's trains. Essex Road, which the, I've heard great things about. The finale is... Ah. Are you saying you've been through Essex Road, but you've never got out to Essex no, Road? No, I, I didn't have a reason to. This is, okay, the greatest reason to go to Essex Road it's is... It's a YouTube video. <laughs> well, and because you're about to see why. Alright. If you, if, hi, if you live in London and you've never been to Essex Road, you have to come and see the... I mean, it's not... It's splendid because it isn't splendid. Okay. Just a strange place. 
That is Essex Road. Reese, you've spotted the first interesting thing. What is it? It uh, looks like uh, a little British flag underneath Essex Road. The old Network Southeast Which, symbols. That was the southeast of the country. UK. The UK. Yeah. But Reese, did you see this? Inter it's a three stop tube line. Does that say Southeast? I can barely. And then, Reese, you just get, you just get to this. It's strange. It's so quiet. Which way are you meant to go? I don't know. It makes me want to whisper. It is, it is echoey, and also, it doesn't feel like we're supposed to be here. Uh, Isn't there that sense? There's a certain uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> it's a liminal space, really, between trains and I don't know what. But it's the netherworld. <laughs> it's very bright, I will say, which is nice. I think they've lit it to try and make it feel Less... more, more welcoming. Yeah. Imagine if this was dimly lit, it would, it would be, be very sketchy. it would be very imposing. Yeah. 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 It's just such a weird space. Elevators. Lifts, Reese. Whatever. Lifts. So alright, elevators. Yeah. Elevators. Mm. Elevators. Uh... Bye. And so, to take the steps, you come down this little uh, tiny corridor, and then here we go, spiral staircase. Eleven, and we'll just count, 12, 13, 14, all the way. 25. I counted 158. Their sign says 156. But you'd never know from up here that that was the secret spiral staircase no. down through these white doors. I think we should grab a drink. Let's wrap up outside. Sounds good. Essex Road, for me, it sort of feels like an abandoned, forgotten station, almost like a tube station. Yeah, it feels like an elevator shaft that just happens to connect to trains. But if you've been in London all your life, and you know the tube, and you know the trains, I'm willing to bet you may not have ever have been, and certainly never got out of Essex Road. And if you haven't done that, this weekend, in the next week, consider a trip to Essex Road. London's spookiest line, yeah, and ride Drayton Park to weird. Essex Road. It's just strange. You're, you're summing up thoughts, Reese. Weird, strange. Um, Has your afternoon in London. I realize your time is limited on your trip. <laughs> Was it worthwhile? doing the Northern City Line. It's always worth it when you're with friends, Jeff. Uh, Reese's channel uh, on Twitter, RM Transit. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Jeff. Maybe I should come to Toronto next time. You should, Canada in general. Canada in general. It's a nice country. I hear that, all right. Big, I'll this hop, is it's not small like I'll come right yeah. to trains and trams and, and light rail in, in Canada sometime. You should. All right, thanks very much. Press subscribe, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Very good.